What's up, YouTube? Corey Harbour here, also known as Mini Bike Madness, sponsored in part by StudsRacing.com, RCF Micros, um, the F Fran Hosh Law Attorneys, also known as the Motorcycle Attorneys, the Fran Hosh Law Group. Um, Evan Rubel from RCF Micros right now is running a ultimate deal Christmas special, two hundred and twelve fifty for the frame and forks plus shipping reach out to him on facebook write him a message um put it in your comments when you buy if you buy one write him tell him you heard from me i will give you an extra five dollars off shipping if you reach out to him and tell him where you heard it i will give you an extra five dollars off of shipping um we're gonna cover a common issue today and that's setting the valves on a Predator or clone Tillotson. They're all the same. Different valve setups, setting the valves are the same. Um, I understand, people understand the concept of using the feeler gauge and setting the valves. It's finding top dead center that's the problem. I'm going to show you a tip that will make this easy. I wish I could take full credit for this. Um, I actually was shown this by a friend of mine, Zach, over at Zach's Pro Mods. Anything I've mentioned today, I will put a link in the description. Um, with this easy trick, you will be able to find top dead center every time after the compression release. And it will not yank the rope out of your hands. It is a common misconception after you change the valve springs your engine is just harder to start this is not true i have an engine over here that has dual 42 pound valve springs my daughter can crank it um, unless you have milled the head significantly that's the only thing that's really going to raise your compression so much that it's hard to start um, so Without further ado, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm actually having problems with this engine. I had a slight crack in the side cover. So I've got it pulled off right now and got it JB welded over in the corner. So um, I take the valve cover off. Of course, you have to. I take the pull starter off so I can spin it over by hand and actually feel what's going on. When you spin it by hand, you will see the exhaust valve go all the way open, which is down, and then it comes all the way back up, or what you think is all the way back up, and then the intake opens all the way up, and then it comes back up and closes all the way. Immediately after this, you will see a slight bump in your exhaust valve when it truly closes all the way right there i spin the flywheel approximately three degrees past that if you have the exhaust header off like i do you can actually hear the compression release this is where you set your valves a guy on Facebook, Jet Payne, J E T P A Y N E, actually makes a tool to set these Hemi or champion style rockers. And um, he actually makes a lot of really cool things. So look him up on Facebook. He makes tools and uh, he makes a 58 millimeter crank. To turn your 212 into a 223. Uh, speaking of 223s, if anybody needs a good paperweight, um, the head that comes off of the Wildcat engine, that's about all it's good for. So, but okay, once you're confident that you've found the perfect spot, and what I didn't do this time but I usually do is I usually roll it over two or three times to make sure I'm in that sweet spot and you put your feeler gauge in here I like a two a lot you know a lot of people say three thousands some engines call for two thousands 
I set a two, not tight. You don't want to have to yank this out of here, but a snug. And it makes it a little easier to pull start. So I always set with a two and I haven't had any problems. That's the basics of it. That's how you set your valves. That's how you find your top dead center. I hope this saves people a lot of time and headache and trouble. Like I said, anything I've mentioned, I will drop the links in the description on the video. Um, reach out to Evan Rubel. Buy yourself a RCF Micro. Awesome little bikes. If you need parts for it, go to Studs. And if you are in Florida and need a great motorcycle attorney, look for Fran Hosh. Zach's Pro Mods can build anything. Two-stroke, four-stroke, it doesn't matter. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.